Now we will see the different uh, case studies in which we talk about uh, the how the tele management practices are going on and today <coughs> in this session we will start with the, uh, the talent management model, people planning process and talent call model definitions are there. Here we will see that is the what is the talent management model is there. In the case of the talent management model, uh, first is the identity, the ident the how we are uh, making the identifying the talent. Uh, we will also talk about the automated screening in the case of the identifying the talented uh, uh, the potential employees. Because whenever we are talking about the recruitment uh, process or the manpower planning process, now the role of technology is also increasing and therefore identifying that is the uh, uh, how the right candidates, right means that is those who can be fitted into the organization culture and uh, as a result of which we will getting this uh, the identify the right candidates and develop the readiness for that uh, uh, acquisition and development. Readiness for the jobs required by the organization, uh, readiness will be for the uh, whatever the contents uh, which are required uh, uh, to deliver uh, that they are uh, enough uh, in an uh, potential employee and the current employee both and as a result of which uh, there will be the movement of the uh, talented employees will there. Now, whenever we are talking about uh, this particular process in identifying that is as, uh, assisted assessment is there and the people planning or the manpower planning is there. So, in acquisition of these uh, manpower potential employees, uh, the how do you identify uh, the uh, people in context to the manpower planning. And therefore, in manpower planning or whenever it is human resource planning HRP is there, it becomes very, very important that is the your requisitions, the demand and supply every factor you are taking into the consideration so that you can filter them, you can screen out them and, and take the right candidates at the right places that is the assisted assessment will be there. In the case of the developing the readiness, uh, then uh, it will be the 10 percent will be the formal training uh, uh, which will be required uh, uh, for by the organization and uh, uh, onboarding or the orientation program that is also becoming the part of that. So, first and foremost will be the formal training will be there, uh, where they will getting the uh, training uh, for their skills specially. And, not, and naturally the knowledge will be enhanced uh, and uh, skills will be developed uh, as a result of which um, they will be able to match their attitude with the organization is there. So, that, that uh, developing that uh, attitude uh, with the organization culture and the knowledge level with the job descriptions and skills which is required the performing a job. So, that will be the 10 percent formal training will be there. But as he, as he grows uh, then definitely most important part is the coaching that is how coaching is done for the talented employees. If the 20 percent coaching is done then definitely in that case uh, they, they will be uh, able to perform and cope up with the organization and 70 percent is the assignment to uh, these. Uh, uh, so, therefore, in that way they to uh, log is uh, that is the if we are giving them the assignments then definitely in that case they will be able to deliver. So, therefore, developing the readiness by giving them the assignment 70 percent is the assignment is there, 20 percent 20 percent is the coaching and 10 percent is the formal training will be there. And like this when we perform this particular uh, uh, procedure then we are developing the readiness of our talented employees or the potential employees. Now, the th third of, uh, dimension is that is the movement is there. So, the talent pool for the senior most roles are there. So, you, you have to identify that is the where are the senior most uh, positions that uh, the talent pool is uh, 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 is uh, uh, available and where is uh, there is a scope for the um, replacing this this trained talent right so to occupy the senior's position is there so developing the talent pool normally for the succession planning Whenever we are having the succession planning, then you will find that is this is becoming a very, very important aspect that is you are de designing the talent pool uh, for, for and uh, then uh, uh, slowly and slowly uh, this talent pool uh, the employees are taken and replacing it the senior most positions. 
accumulate experience. Uh, uh, yes, one can be talented, but unless and until he is not having that experience to exercise that talent, because whenever you exercise your talent, you get the challenges. Because it is not one to one, it is not the mathematical equation, and therefore it is one and one eleven. So in uh, accumulate the experience, and then you understand that one it becomes one and one two, or one minus one zero, or one and one eleven. So therefore, that ex, uh, accumulation of that experience that will making these uh, uh, the drive for the movement of the talented employees. Then the based on the development needs. So, naturally organization wherever there is organizational need is there and accordingly they will be making the movements are there. So, whenever we are talking about the talent management model, it is the identifying, developing and movement is there which we, we are going to develop. Now, here in the this HR planning in identifying it becomes very important to understand both the career growth model and the talent management model is there right and when when we are able to uh, 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 balancing this career growth model and the talent management model then uh, only the organization will be successful to live through the people planning process the effective use of these models uh, hinges on the several cr critical factors are there hmm? that we will see one by one what are those factors are there but ultimately what is the objective the objective is to match between the career growth model and the talent management model is there. So, that is the objective. First is the ability of the leaders and managers in the room sometimes with the guidance of the HR professional to consistently and accurately assess talent against a series of criteria. Now, um, this is the, uh, what is most important point is that is the who is the coach, who is the leader, who is the manager and then uh, they, they, they are giving that uh, uh, HR dimension. So, it is not necessarily that is the it, it is only by the uh, HR professional. Sometimes with the guidance of the HR professionals, but every time it cannot be there the, the boss has to uh, 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 and demonstrate the, the HR uh, aspects and therefore, in that case <coughs> it becomes important that is there are the HR professionals are there to consistently and accurately assess talent against a series of criteria. So, there will be the different series of criteria and against that uh, this particular aspect has to be um, uh, assessment is to be done. So, first was the ability of the leaders, second is the extent to which the people in the meeting truly know their employees. Now, what is the truly knows? Now, you see there are the n number of employees are there and the, the boss focus is uh, on himself and then if he is not able to uh, understand the strengths, weaknesses, opportunity and threats for his uh, colleagues or subordinates, then definitely there will be the uh, less impact uh, on these um, talent management aspects. So, what is required? <coughs> Knowing their career aspirations, that is uh, whoever is uh, whoever are you or uh, uh, these talented employees, what are their aspirations? So, their aspirations may be very strong and they want, want to reach to the new heights in the short period of time, but again this should not be in the contradicts to the organization's culture and practices. So, therefore, that career aspirations, but one should know, what should know the career aspirations of these subordinates, prior performance history. So, therefore, whether he has performed earlier or not, in the case if the uh, when uh, we see that is the he has not performed well in the past. So, naturally in the future also there are very uh, how much you will improve by training and development. Uh, so, it will be 10 percent. So, whatever the tendency and uh, mindset is there of the employees and the potential also. So, therefore, in that case that, that will be increasing only when there is a prior performance history. So, if the employee has performed earlier then definitely he can be developed. Then the mobility constraints are there, mobility constraints are the those constraints because of that that is the they are shifted from the one place to one position to the another position is there and uh, many times it is the management management is responsible for this what they do they select certain employees and make their mobility and movements too much and therefore that, that is becoming the restriction for the uh, successor because the successor wants to do something, but if the predecessor is not available, then it, it becomes very difficult for him. The experiences that have been gained both at PepsiCo and private to their joining the organization. So, therefore, this is the important 
point is mentioned which I was talking earlier that is it is important that is the uh, they are having they have been given the Pepsi coin prior to their joining the organization. So, that, that their position they have gained, but if they are not able to stick to their values their systems then they will definitely they will not be able to convert that opportunity. And those experiences that are needed to reach a particular future role and uh, the, here it will be found it is the it is needed to reach only in the case when the, these people when they know their career aspirations, their past history, prior performance history, mobility constraints whether they want to move or not the experiences they have gained and these experiences that are needed to reach a particular future role is there. Third is the extent to which talent movement decisions about who is going into what job is done in a way that optimizes the two objectives. How the determinant power planning or determinant power allocation is important. The match between the individual and the next job that will best deliver the experiences the person wants and needs. So, this is a very very important condition that is the many times it is the with the individual who is doing the next job um, many people are not having the good connects. So, therefore, that will best deliver it the experience the person wants and needs then so that you ensure. Second is the match between the job and the capabilities it will deliver to that leader based on the strategic needs of the organization. So, whatever the strategic needs of the organization is there and accordingly the, there will be the uh, delivery um, of the leaders uh, performance right between the job and the capabilities are there. Now, here we will see you know, one example of EPSICO that sample people planning process how it has been done. Now, here you will find that is the board of directors, then the sector CEO, then the division precision and the functional heads. So, these are the organization structure where the division uh, is there, then the presidents are there and the formal head uh, is there then the functional head is there, division and functional senior is there and, and they are the leaders. So, we can use um, uh, these people's uh, uh, support and guidance for, for our uh, potential uh, identification of the talented employees and for their job performance. Now, this, this, is, this is about these board of directors and all CEOs right and functional senior leaders are there. Who and uh, who are the CEO reviews? Uh, sector CEO and in sector CEO it is becoming the division leaders and managers right. So, therefore, in that case who are at the uh, managerial lower man front manager level? I will say front manager level and the, the, their division is to be present. For example, it is of the finance then financial division market is a marketing division. Similarly, uh, same will be there uh, in the case of the division leaders uh, in the uh, different uh, 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 functions. For example, here it is the operations and IT and all these are there. Uh, sector CEO may be applicable for the HR and uh, therefore, the division presidents and the functional heads are there, the local divisions are there and division leaders and managers are there. So, you will find there is a uniformity right and in uniformity you will find that is the procedure is same. So, corporate leaders and managers are there and these corporate leaders and managers uh, they, they are having these departmental heads which will be reporting to the corporate and functional head is there. So, here we will talk about that is the uh, how this division is converting into the PepsiCo. Uh, this uh, 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 here we will uh, talk about that is the, uh, the different divisions are there at the division level it will be go to the higher level and uh, therefore, that will go for the process ownership and when there is a process ownership from the division to the PepsiCo then there will be the tools and the templates are there. So, this is all sample of people planning process will be there. So, in the people planning process there will be these uh, present uh, presented to the uh, these different uh, top level executives uh, functional head division heads uh, senior leaders and CEOs and there will be these uh, uh, so, uh, organization structure and in the organization structure there is a division local division division presidents and the functional heads and the CEO is there. So, uh, this is becoming very very important they, how 
you are making your uh, uh, people planning process which was the first step which we, we have seen. If your people planning process is done for what this is an in dimension impact what is the dimension impact? that is this will be for the division this will be the people uh, for these higher positions which will be creating the, uh, pre, uh, the process ownership. The process ownership will be taken by these persons. On, uh, on the basis of that is the how they are going going to develop that particular planning process. If the planning process is there then they, uh, the, the, these, will, these people they will be having the ownership, ownership responsibilities. Similarly, uh, now for doing this definitely what is required tools are required and in the tools and techniques it, it is the uh, division heads again and the division heads is giving to the uh, the company's higher positions uh, level people CEOs uh, and the corporate functional heads and as a result of a tools and techniques will be developed. If we are able to develop those te tools and techniques with the help of this uh, PepsiCo ownership then definitely we will be able to create the successful uh, uh, the talent management processes into PepsiCo. Now, there is a talent call model then what is that? The process begins with a release to the organization of a template, toolkit and the key messages for that year's execution. So, there will be a particular template will be there and uh, there will be the toolkit and in the toolkit uh, we will find that is the it is becoming the very very important that is the what type of the equipments are there and key messages for that year's execution there that is the whether we are having uh, that those key messages are not uh, with these uh, top leaders so that what 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 is outcome outcome is that that is we will be able to create the talent pool next talent is classified according to our internal high potential model talent call model. So, therefore, the, the, this is the another important aspect. So, though in the another important aspects it, it is becoming uh, the uh, 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 classification right that is for what by the internal high potential models are there and reviewed by the managers with uh, uh, their peers in collaboration meetings are there. So, now we will see that is how the talent call model works. So, high potential employees right. So, in the case of the who are the high potential employees a highly valuable contributor with a great deal of stretch capability within the organization. Now, this is becoming very very important that is the uh, these uh, stretch capabilities are uh, 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 the uh, high potential employees are there. So, every individual is having uh, uh, certain uh, 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 the performances right and therefore, uh, it, it, it is uh, uh, for leader it will be easy to identify who is having the talent and who is not having the talent and then the, this talented pool which you have identified. So, what they do they are having the stretching the capability. So, every talented employee if he is able to perform 70 percent as we have seen in the first slide also if he is able to perform 70 percent, but when he gets the opportunity he stretch himself up to what up to maybe the 9900. So, a, a highly valuable contributor with a great deal of stretch capability stretching himself um, within the organization. Such individuals are typically promoted to higher levels beyond their current role. Naturally, uh, when uh, they, they are having this type of these uh, uh, requirement uh, uh, where they are pushing themselves by the organization's demand is there and to meet the demands they are pushing themselves and then in that case that will be a great deal of stretch capability is there. So, uh, what is required identify these people and promote to them their higher level positions, uh, higher level beyond their current roles and select few can be seen as leading the organization at the senior levels. So, therefore, you will find those who are the leaders positions. So, all are from the uh, higher level positions are there. So, uh, here it, it, it becomes very very important that is the how your talent is able to stretch dear friend there is this message is also that is the learn to stretch your capabilities. How to stretch your capabilities by getting the different training programs 
and understanding. So your IQ plus EQ plus SQ, emotional quotient, spiritual quotient and uh, um, uh, intelligent quotient, right? That, that should help you to enhance your high potential. And if you are able to enhance your high potential, then definitely you will be able to leading the organizations. The key, key contributors, a valuable contributor to the organization, valuable con who is the key contributor? Who is having the valuable contribution to the organization with a stretch capability? Again here also he is able to stretch. Such individuals may advance beyond their current role or can be considered for other roles at the same level. So therefore, definitely they have been considered uh, that is the may, uh, whatever the current role is there. So they will be considered for the future positions because they are the key contributors capable of growing within the organization over time and uh, definitely when with their employees wherever uh, employees uh, uh, were working into these organizations and they have been identified identified by these uh, uh, managers uh, and their leaders there is yes these are the key contributors they take them and they have uh, they, what they get they get the other roles in the same organization within the organizations over time so naturally so, they, they, they will be able to develop themselves and that is true within the organization over time. So, with the period of time, uh, they will be getting the developed. So, these are the high potential and key contributors. So, whenever we are talking about the high potential and key contributors, so those key contributors, uh, right, and they that actually uh, they, they can be common also. So, those who are the key contributors, they can have the high potential also. A highly valuable and the experienced subject matter expert, right? So therefore, in that case, uh, these are the key contributors. What they are having, they are having the very high contribution and experience subject, uh, subject experts are there. Their career path has typically been in specialized area or function, and they provide a critical role in leveraging their specialized skills. So therefore, here is the important point that we have to learn. What is happening is that is the whenever there there is the talented people are there, they are having the typical career path and then in the specialized area, they provide a critical role in leveraging their specialized skill. So naturally what is expected when you are selected on the basis of the specialized skills, you have to get developed for your specialized, they are sought out by the others, they will be sought out by the others, those who are uh, overly taken and they are not performing. Uh, but both is, uh, inside and outside the organization, they are sought out by the others, uh, naturally the others will try to find out this type of the people and both inside and outside the organization for their knowledge and advice, so that they can share their knowledge and advice uh, with the rest of the employees in the organization. So, uh, that is the uh, having the high, poten uh, high potential of these uh, employees and uh, they, uh, now the, the organization should show the concern. So, what will be the concern? Someone who meets one of the several criteria requiring discussion, for example, performance issues, values issues, people management or might be blocking key development roles needed for others. So, here it, it, it will be that uh, there will be certain criteria are there. Like for example, in the teaching is teaching, training, research, consultancy, advertisement, administration. So therefore, several criteria is requiring discussion uh, that will be based on your findings from the uh, your data collected. So for example, performance issues, values issues, uh, people management, whatever the data you have collected or the, you have done the research uh, of uh, your employees and then you will find that these are the certain issues are there values issues are there, you, have, you want to work on a particular value and they, they want to shift into the another value. So, that there is making a lot of uh, changes and difference. So, uh, here it will be the issues people management or might be blocking key development roles needed for others. So, in case if you are giving them the opportunity, so they will grow and performance issues, values issue, people management will understand, but if they do not, they are scared. And then in that case, they will not show the uh, concern and the talented employees will not show the concern and as a result of which there might be the blocking key development that is the uh, whatever the development is required and on the key positions that will be blocked and roles needed for the others are there. So, in the people planning process, the intent here is for multiple people to be able to contribute to a given talent call. 
like a project team. They are classification of an individual, but there is an head who is given this particular task that is go ahead, take your team, make your team and go, go fast. Not just a single individual manager, much in the same way that calibration meetings are used to determine a performance ratings, but there is a limitation. Limitation is this, this, this talent call will not be only for a particular person and that particular person will not be uh, waiting for your uh, uh, the whatever the conditions are there. So, wh what is required? That is the, 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 he will be during the meeting they present their initial talent assessment. So, in the beginning itself they present their beginning in the initial talent assessment. Discuss the strengths and development opportunities of the each individual. So, for the each and every individual they will discuss the opportunities <coughs> and talk about the future roles to the assignment is there because you are, you are talking about the succession planning and if you are going for the succession planning then definitely you have to see that is what in the future what they can play the role. Timing in any concerns that might be present. The outcome of the meeting is a set of aligned talent calls and the potential plans for talent movement in the future. Naturally, what will be the outcome that will be a set of aligned talent calls are there and the potential plans are there by the uh, these particular by talent development in the future. The information from this process then fits into both the succession planning work for the future as well as is the more immediate talent moves that need to be made. So, therefore, either it is the succession planning, somebody senior is retired and he is taking his place or there is a, um, it is a movement process. All in all, it is an involved and comprehensive process and takes moments to complete. So, naturally this is becoming a complex process and then it takes the time. So, in that particular model which we have discussed earlier, this is the an example which you can see about this particular person, then critical experiences are there, what the person is having the critical experiences, then there are the certain strengths and then opportunities are there. And uh, now, uh, here you will find that development actions is there, profile summary is there, name, uh, title, band, time in role, ta talent call and the mobility is already mentioned. Uh, and uh, the PepsiCo people planning in the key development questions, what are their uh, ability to add value to the strategic agenda and broader the range of customers and do more open to others ideas and perspectives and actually incorporate into win-win situation. The target long, long term role estimated uh, 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 the timings are uh, that is vice president 3 to 4 years, new next move is from the January 2009 and then the person accountable that is his report and, and the his HRD is responsible. So, this tool is designed all the information needed on a single individual to enable a comprehensive discussion during the talent review. It begins with some key information in the beginning itself. For example, performance ratings, talent call, time in role that will be identified and then moves on to the key development question on uh, the projected long term role, role high up in the organization is this individual can go. The next move and timing for that move and the person uh, responsible for ensuring action is taken. So, therefore, there is uh, uh, the that particular person will be responsible for ensuring the action is taken and uh, here that move will be done projected long term role will be done. The bottom portion of the template focuses on experiences gained and needed naturally. So, ultimately what is that? That is uh, as we were talking in the beginning, the what is required? Experience is required, experiences gained and needed, strengths and opportunities from a leadership perspective that is what you are doing to perform and the key development actions for the individual over the next year. Uh, so, naturally when you are identifying the strengths and opportunities from a leadership perspectives, you see the focus is also so that uh, you are that uh, leaders they will talk uh, with individuals over the uh, this different process in the next year is there. Essentially, it combines an employee profile with a career planning pool is there. Naturally, what is the employee's profile is there and what is his career planning pool is there. So, finally, we can say that is a talent management and development is a complex process that requires a number of conditions to ensure success. Right. As described in this case and as, as applied at PepsiCo, it is critical to have a common set of tools and processes that drive consistently in language and execution. Naturally, there are so much multiple dimensions are there and therefore, and the job nature of jobs are so different. So, therefore, it is not in, uh, easy to make the one for all. So, it will be customized one and then as 
as a result of which to uh, uh, that common set of goals is there, but it is customized. Uh, then, then drive in con language and execution. The role of the HR generalist in this process is ensuring flawless execution. So, whatever the execution is there, that is becoming the flawless and process integrity can be ignored. So, we, can, we do not have the definitive answer. So, the conclusion is this, that is we do not have the definitive answer and continue to make changes and tweaks to our own processes and definitions. It is important to remember that this is a journey, right. So, def definitely we, we should not uh, uh, limit ourselves, it is once the change has been made that will be for ever. No, that after some period of time then definitely it will, the, there will be different change and the, the, this is an ongoing process or the continuous process is there and uh, it, it will go uh, like a journey. Even as we change and evolve to meet the current requirements, the, the talent management needs for future uh, generations are right around the corner. So, whenever we go by this PepsiCo model making the changes, leadership capabilities, the concerns, the potential appraisals and all and then developing the manpower and supplying the manpower, ultimately this change in evolve to meet the current requirements uh, because the, in the current management needs for future generations are right around the corner and they are having totally different types of needs. So, therefore, this is all about it is the how you are going to manage the talent uh, in the companies like this uh, Pepsi and these are the two models are there and on basis of these two models uh, uh, we can acquire and develop the talented employees. Thank you.